Hey, Twin Cities, it's EXP Realtor David Garvis coming to you. The last weekend of summer is coming up, so I thought it would be a good time to take a look at what's happened so far this year with the housing market, what our home price is doing, break it down a little bit for your individual home and give you a little bit of information. That's what we're doing this month in tracking the Twin Cities. Twin Cities market continues to look strong. We'll start by looking at new listings where we see last month was up 7.6%, but for the year we're still down 2.9 on new listings coming to the market. Closed sales, meanwhile, show us that when no homes are coming to the market, that the market can't sell more homes, and we're actually down over 4%. But when we look at median sales price, we see that that low inventory number continues to push prices up, up 6.45% on the year. And again, with that 2.5 months of inventory, which is down almost 4%, we expect to see home prices continue to move up. 7.7% .7 for the metro is fantastic, but what if we break down it by county? Take a look at your specific county and see where we're at, and this is what we see. Taking a look at the six counties surrounding the metro, we see that each of the six has improved nicely over the last year. However, Ramsey County improved the quickest with 10% increases over last year, while Hennepin County and Washington County improved at roughly 5 to 6%, but a little bit slower than the rest of the metro. What if we, instead of breaking it down by county, we break it down by property type? Uh, take a look at single family homes versus take a look at condo and townhome markets. Here's how the numbers look. The numbers again show us that single family, condos, and townhome median prices have improved nicely this year, but the stars have been townhomes up 8.7% on the year, while the condo market has been a little bit slower, but still up a nice 6.3% compared to the same time last year. And finally, let's take a look at those people who aren't homeowners or those of you who are thinking of getting out of being homeowners and renting. And let's take a look at what's happened locally in the rental markets. Looking at current rental prices and comparing them to September of 2017, we find that the upward price movement isn't contained just to homeowners as renters in a one bedroom unit have seen a 3% increase in price. Two bedrooms have gone up 9%. Three bedrooms up 8.5% and even four and five bedroom homes are going for 5% more than this time last year. Showing that while home prices may have moved up, at least your prices are locked and rentals seem poised to continue their upward movement. All right, gang, that is tracking the Twin Cities. That's what's going on with your real estate numbers so far in 2018. I will be back next month with some more information. I'm Data Dave. EXP Realtor David Garvis, and we'll see you next time.